Prince of power, more than you know. So don't you underestimate your dreams. Dreams of power, more than you know. So don't you underestimate your dreams. It be no day one day, it be a grandma and dad. Won't you not eat them? When sick as them, when coin you on my room. My dear moon, and poor one shepherd moon. Now one now woman, we need our home, I won't die and no. They turn things around to your favor. Cause ignorance is never an excuse. Oh. Your dream is your life. In dreams and visions of the night When deep sleep falls on me He's giving you the power To take charge and you will win Your dream is your life I will die. 
Welcome once again to the Dream Hub. God richly bless all of you for joining and I welcome you into a new week of our Dream Hub. God richly, richly, richly bless you for tuning in here and always taking time with us. I really appreciate your time and I hope everybody here had a lovely weekend last weekend. God richly bless all of you. I really appreciate your time um, for coming to this class, though it's a free class, I really appreciate your time for coming. I really appreciate your time. God richly bless you so, so, so much. All right. And um, before I start, I want to really educate all of us on something here. And I wish we share so that I can get more people <coughs> who can actually, you know, join us so that as I want to share, I mean, people will really understand before I move on, all right? <clears throat> God bless you. So let's see if we can get like 60 people. We have only four people to raise 60, then I can really um, share what I, I really want to share, all right? Hmm. So, um, time is far gone. Um, let, 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 let's see. I believe most of you will, um, let's say, um, get to know what I want to share. Um, over the weekend, or let's say last week, the whole of last week, a lot of people have actually drawn my attention to some people who are dreaming to protest. And according to them, they are like, um, they are interpreting dreams wrongly. You see, um, let me tell you something. Every gift that God gives to mankind, they are always fake people who also try to create just to remain relevant. Okay, just to remain relevant because we all know that when prophets came, we got false prophets and we got fake ones. All right. When healing came, we got fake healers and we got false healers. All right. So anything God blesses um, with the body of Christ, we, we got fake ones in there. But you see, when it comes to dreams and interpretation, this is what I can tell everybody on this platform. Hear me and hear me very well. I keep on announcing to people that build a personal relationship with God all the time. This is what I have been saying. The main thing is build a personal relationship with God. Now, listen. If you build a personal relationship with God, God actually gives you a spirit called discernment. It is able to discern divine or genuine and fake or false. There are so many instances I can give you in the Bible whereby um, this little girl in the book of Acts was disturbing Paul and at a point in time Paul has to rebuke that spirit. Now hear me, if you analyze everything the little girl was prophesying um, to Paul about, they were all true. Okay, but the source within which it was coming from was false. So Paul discerned and decided that no, this is not the right spirit, even though he's speaking, but it's not the right spirit. And Paul rebuked that spirit and the spirit left the young lady. Now, this is my main concern. How well do you know God for yourself? And how well are you able to discern? So many, because some of you, the reason you sent me this video is that you say, Papa, I'm confused. How come you said that um, crap, or um, in our local language, we call it koto, I mean crap, the one we chew. How come you said that crap means hard times are ahead of you and i also heard someone saying that when you see a crab it means you're going to give birth so you know what i'm not here to mention them or to condemn anybody but i'm here to talk to you my follower i know i'm not the only dream interpreter most of you follow but you see some of you go and follow other people and you get so confused you don't know whether i'm the one telling the truth or i'm the one lying to you or they are telling the truth now let me show you um when I, I i saw the video that when that lady was saying that when you see 
and you see from watching the video i could see where the lady um her source was from i'm not here to judge but i'm trying to tell you something when he said when you see crap it means you're gonna give birth then when i was reading the comment it was a live video i was reading the comment i saw that a woman texted that i'm 70 years but i still see crap in my dream does it mean i'm going to give birth at 70. You see, I could see that the lady saw it, but she decided to ignore because she can't answer that. I don't know where they learned it from. Because if you tell me that when you see crap, it means you're going to give birth. All right? You're going to give birth. So somebody is saying that, okay, I'm 70 years and I saw crap. And I told you that all dreams are found in a context. You can't use one context to describe every dream. Just like when someone sees a snake in the dream, when the snake is huge, it's in another context and it has a different meaning. When the snake bites you, it's in another context, it has a different meaning. When the snake is chasing you in the dream, it's in another context and it has a different meaning. When you are playing with a snake, it's the same snake but it's in another context. So you can know that we have, we got playing with snake, having sex with snake, um, um, snake chasing you, snake biting you, seeing a huge snakes too. So all these things are different contexts because uh, even though it's the same animal, but it's in different contexts. So you can't just say, that's why most of you, I don't reply your messages because you go like, Papa, when you see snail, what does it mean? No. What was the snail doing? In what context did you see the snail? And listen to me, this is my last thing before we go to today's teaching. When you are listening to a dream interpreter, listen to the dream interpreter with your spirit. If you listen to a dream interpreter with your carnal mind, you'll be confused. Now hear me. If you have a dream and you tell someone you, who, whom you know as a dream interpreter, okay, when you tell the person, this is how it means. When the person expatiate the dream to you or interpret the dream to you, you will see that in your spirit there is this calmness and it tells you that whoa he is telling the truth even though after this time in memorial this guy i mean is interpreting the dream so so well it sounds well with my spirit my spirit is settled with it and i i feel that kind of calmness because i feel i've gotten the real inter interpretation you know one of the disturbing things on this earth is to find to have a dream and not understand the dream it's so disturbing it's like what at all is god saying that i'm so confused so if you get a dream interpreter and he explains the dream to you or interpret it because dreams most dreams are metaphorical few are raw or self-explanatory so if you get them to break it down someone who is really gifted you will know that oh man this guy is telling the truth i feel within me, even though i don't understand the dream i feel within me that he's telling the truth now what about if you see someone who claims to be a dream interpreter and interprets the dream to you you don't understand the dream though but the way that the person interpreted the dream you see that um i think no 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 though he said it he said it but that is, I, I i'm not settled reject that dream you see the only thing that can actually help you is to get close to god so that when you actually get someone who can expatiate your dream to you you can easily find peace in your heart i know most of you you don't follow me alone you follow other people and you send it to me the last time i was telling people that hey can you better stop selling sending me those kind of videos the reason is that if i don't take care i may be tempted to say what is happening but you see in everything that we have original we have fake all the time because some of the um, people who interpret dreams I listen and I and I feel like vomiting I'm like what and you 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 got a lot of people like yeah yeah thank you for explaining but you see sometimes but hey I tell people those God has called for me they will come to me I'm not called for everybody on this earth there are only few people who will appreciate the gift God has given you. I mean, I don't wish that the whole world, I, 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 don't, I tell my people all the time, I don't even like fame. 
I don't really like fame. I'm afraid to be famous. Okay, so the little, you know, people God has given to me, I try to hold them. But some of the sheep are quite stubborn. What I mean sheep is that the congregation we are called to minister to. They go here, they go here, and they confuse themselves. Imagine when prophetic gift came. A lot of people were like, Papa, I went to a church. The man of God says that um, my problem is from my mother's side. Another man of God say that it's not from my mother's side, but it's from my father's side. Man of God, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. You know what I told the lady? I said, listen, forget about man of God A, forget about man of God B. Go to God yourself and ask God, God, you better help me out here. Where is the source of the problem and how can I deal with it? God in his own wisdom will let you know. If God lets you know, then you will know that, oh, then what this man of God said, he, is, he was actually speaking from the divine throne room of God. The other one may be false. Not as a false um, pastor or a false prophet, but um, he is actually false in the field he's called to be. You know, the whole problem is that we don't stick to our, our calling. No man of God is Mr. Know-all. No. I, I tell people that we, we have to just learn from these doctors. When you, everybody is called a doctor, everybody is called man of God and woman of God. But when you go to the medical field, we have doctors that are specialists. They are dentists. We have doctors that are gynecologists. We have doctors that are... Um, bone specialist we have the surgeon and we have but we call all of them doctors okay so as um, this ministry should be same but you know because nobody wants to lose a member when let's say you are a pastor and um, you have a friend who is a prophet and you, you in your congregation you have a member maybe the person is suffering from maybe barrenness okay you the pastor you can't see anything you can only pray but when the prophet sees, he can identify the source. But most people are like, this is how it should have been. Okay, I have a prophet friend. Okay, I'm going to invite the prophet to my church so that he can come and diagnose what is happening spiritually with the people. But you see, it's more like, no, I don't want any prophet here. Because when the prophet too comes and he's a bad prophet, he's going to take all your members away. So we don't recommend. Pastors should have done that. Oh, this one is not my field, actually. I have a pastor who is a dream interpreter. Can I call so that he helps us? But you see the congregations, when there's not, oh, this pastor goes there, um, he knows how to interpret him. So I'm going to leave my church and go to that pastor's shed. That's so wrong. I tell people one of the main reasons I hardly pick um, strange numbers. Those of you who get angry with me all the time, um, see, when we call you, you don't pick, especially those of you in Ghana. I'm telling you, I have a reason, and I've expatiated that reason to you the last time. Pastors call me and they warned me because one of their members came to my Tuesday, like what I'll be doing tomorrow, the dream class tomorrow. Like one member came, he saw me on YouTube, he came. When he came, it benefited her so much. So when she went back to her church, he started telling the friends in the church. So the following um, Tuesday, um, she brought all of them, not knowing that their pastor also organized prayers on Tuesday. So they were not going. The numbers keep on reducing whilst mine was increasing. Then I got a call. I thought maybe the person, initially I used to pick every call. Then I got a call from the pastor. He said, is that the sea? I, mean, I said, yes, how may I help you? Any dream? He said, no, I didn't call you. This was how exactly is I didn't call you for your false interpretation. I said, you call me for what? I'm pastor. So, so, and so listen, if you are bringing this division in the body of Christ, then you and I, we're going to stay in the capital, in Accra here or in Ghana. And I said, well, I mean, what have I done? One of my members came to listen to you. Now, when I do Tuesday service, they don't come. They've all been rushing to your place. So if this is what you're bringing into the work of God, see, I, I tell you, you and I, we're going to stay in Ghana here. So from that day, I said, I'm not going to pick any strange number again. So those of you who are in Ghana and, and most of the international calls too. So normally I tell people, if you want to talk to me, what's up the number there? Hello, is that Sia? I want to talk to you. Can I call you? When can I call you? Okay, normally you know that when you WhatsApp, I tell you, can I know your name and location? 
then maybe I can feel free talking to you. But any number that comes like boom, if it's a strange number, if you really want me to talk to you, kindly send me a text or a WhatsApp message first. Say your name. Oh, my name is this. I'm calling. I, I want to talk to you. I'm in this location. Then I can talk to you because I don't want to have any problem with any man of God. Okay, because now what the church is becoming now is that we fight them. This one say there is no tight. This one say there is tight. Then you see the congregation members, they are fighting. So the body of Christ is fighting itself all the time. This is what is happening in this our generation. And I don't want to have any problem with any man of God yet. So please, I, I beg you, if you choose whom to listen to, be led. Be led. Most of you who are here who came, most of you sounded like, Papa, I was searching for my dream. I found you and my spirit is settled with your interpretation. Okay? So in order not for you to be, you know, disbalanced, um, you have to really stick to one man of God you think you know and you think he's working with the right spirit. This is all what I have to say. So if you go somewhere and you go and you listen to... Um, maybe one person and it's like oh papa um this man is saying that um excuse me this man is saying that um, um when you dream like this it, it means that you see then you have to be very careful so it makes you so confused so how come you listen to so many men of god why don't you choose whom to listen to the one that settles with you okay so please, this is what I have to tell you. Know God by yourself. The whole thing I'm teaching here is to assist you. Know God by yourself. This is all what I, I want to show you. Know God by yourself. All right? Search for God. Anybody that seeks, finds. Okay? So you have that personal relationship. So when you listen to a man of God, you know that, oh, because now the teachings that are coming are very strange, oh. So I beg all of you, that is it. Okay? God richly bless all of you. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. People can stick to one place. It's like that because they think that, oh, this, this person can, this pastor has keys to the marriage. So let me go, I'll get married there. But he doesn't have keys to the fruit of the womb. Let me go here. Let me go there. That is why you should know God for Do you think that it shouldn't always be like we bringing you the direction? Some of the dreams, you will have it and God will hit it in your spirit that, hey, do A, B, C. Without even the dream interpreter giving you an interpretation, you will get your interpretation because I've given you the whole stuff. Okay? So sometimes you can... Um, so seed, you pray, you fast. Then after doing that, then your spirit tells you that, okay, you sown seed, you fasted, but why don't you visit the orphanage home as well? Add it. This is not coming from the man of God. Your spirit is telling you, so you follow it and do it. I want people to hear God by themselves. You see, um, um, what's the name? Um, MCR. I'm going to put something there, right? Kindly paste it before, post it here before I, I continue today's teaching. You see the picture I just sent to you? Post it there. Let, let me show people what is happening in the system right now. Okay? I'm not going to mention any man of God name. For those of you on the various platform, I have shared this already. Okay? Now, MCR, can you put it there? Just take my face off. I'm going to speak at the background. Okay, so you put it there. Okay. You see, I tell people when, when we tell you build personal relationship with God, they pay. So now, watch what, what, can you take the number off? Watch what is there. This is from a dream interpreter. That is his price list. So if you check the top, one dream meaning only, that is 35 Ghana cities. When the person interprets dream to you, one dream only, 35 Ghana, the prices are written in red. That is for someone. One dream plus solution, that is 50 cities. Weekly dream analysis only, that is 200 Ghana cities. Oh my God, that's too outrageous. Weekly dream analysis plus solution goes to 250 Ghana cities. 
goes for 250 unlimited dream meaning for a month without solution that is 500 ghana cities unlimited dream meanings plus solution is for thousand cities monthly analysis only is also thousand cities and the last one that is down there monthly an analysis plus solution that is thousand five can you take it off this is what someone is charging for dreams now you come to this class you get it for free and i tell you build personal relationship with god because god can speak to you too you said no so those of you who like oh i, I need to see pastor after now people call me and like see how when we want to see you how much do we pay when i tell people no you don't have to pay anything for coming to see me most people come in like papa can i show in in your ministry i said yes if you're allowed to do so you will allow to look at the price list of someone this is what most of you want so monthly analysis so every dream you've had in the month when the man of god says he's analyzing it giving you solution it's a thousand five so what i'm teaching you use it to work for yourself you don't want to do it so you will fall in the hands of this so what about you had a dream but you don't have a thousand five i don't have but this monthly and no, i don't have that means the dream is going to kill him why should it be that <laughs> so let's be very careful let's be very careful all right today we're going to look at a very um interesting um, dreams which a lot of you have had and prepared a topic that the means of transport you see in a dream is connected to your life all right as the saying goes that your dream is your life and your life is your dream the means of transport you see in a dream now before i start i want you to, you to put this in your mind any means of transport you see in your dream is your life today i'm going to take every means of transport not the ones you know but i'm going to go on a different level when i pick one we will enter into deep ones that you will understand most of you have been having these dreams about the means of transport okay you see the cars you see the airplanes you see the ships you see the trains you see the buses you see the bicycles you see the motorbike what does these things they mean in your dream do you see them just for seeing sake or oh, they got a meaning for you i will tell you they have a meaning for you okay so we're gonna go for the common one and this is how we're gonna um we, 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 we we're gonna start the whole thing all right hmm <laughs> now now we, we, we're gonna start so um mcr when i mentioned the means of transport you put it there okay so we're gonna take it one by one so you know what we're gonna do so first and foremost we're gonna talk about the cars we see in the dream so you know we have a saloon car you can see an ash car or a gray color saloon car and we have an suv a very toyota white car so it will come i will mention it will come this these are the areas we're going to look at okay mm -hmm. so this is an uh, this is a saloon car all right most of you see saloon cars in the dream either you were driving it or something you've seen it i'm going to take time to explain in various contexts so you understand now we got a four-wheel drive too what a beautiful car this is toyota so you have to know it's a beautiful car there now after that we have um an airplane an airplane too is landed um, you can see written on it Lufthansa an aeroplane most of you see an aeroplane in a dream okay so this one is also connected to your life I will take it one by one but I just want to rush through now we have a train a train a train okay we have a train too all right a very beautiful train there as well is in most of the countries 
especially the advanced ones you can see train there now after that we have a cruise ship you can see a cruise ship a cruise ship just like the titanic okay a cruise ship too we're gonna look at this one as well in dreams then after that we have a motorbike we got a motorbike too then after the motorbike we got a bicycle all right so a very nice motorbike there most of you dream and you'll be riding this one okay so then we got a bicycle too all right All right, so right after this, uh, under the ship column, we have a boat. You can see a boat um, on, the, on, the, on the, I'm not talking about the canoe. The canoe is the wooden one. So we have a boat, it's also a means of transport. And we have the canoe, we have the canoe too. They are all means of transport. Most of you dream and you are in the canoe, paddling the canoe. Okay, this is a boat, all right? And we have a canoe as well all these are means of transport now i'm going to take it context by context all right context by context then you will understand it very well so that's the canyon there now let's move most of you so we're gonna pick the car there first all right now most of you so i want you to put a picture there now listen to me very well whilst i'm dealing with this put a picture there you can see a lady holding the steering wheel but the lady is smiling smiling it looks as if the lady is driving and the lady is smiling okay mm -hmm. yes now this very one most of you you dream and physically you don't know how to drive a car but in the dream, you realize that you haven't been to the driving school. You haven't even sat before the steering wheel or whatever before. But in the dream, you could see that you were driving so perfect. So perfect. But physically, you don't know how to drive. Can I see by hand those who have had that kind of dream before? I want to count. All right. I just want to see by hand show by hand i just need those of you physically you don't know how to drive okay and you see yourself that you were driving so so well you see so okay i've gotten some few people raising their hand you don't know you don't you don't know how to drive physically mm -hmm. okay i've seen i've seen a lot of people so most of you have this dream and people don't really understand the dream you guys do have all the time you see you don't see the dream that you guys have all the time now hear me very well hear me very well i have said this before but some of you are new here when you have a dream and you realize that the car you driving physically you don't know how to drive but you were driving the car so well just like this lady how the lady is smiling listen this is the meaning of it this is the context of this context physically you don't know how to drive but in the dream world you were driving so well this context is context one what this means is that there is going to be a breakthrough in your life or a blessing in your life but it's a blessing that you don't deserve it but it's grace and the favor of the lord that will let you have that blessing oh you don't deserve it you don't deserve that position you were given at the workplace. That promotion, you don't deserve it. But some way, somehow, grace is going to find you. God is going to let you receive a special favor from your boss and you say, hey, you're going to be in charge of this. It's like your qualification does not reach there. 
Nothing about you qualifies you for that, if we should talk about physical stuff. But grace will find you, and you will, you will find favor. You see, when you find favor with your boss, then your boss will say, okay, take that position. I'm not dealing with only workplace. Anything at all. You receive things that you see that this one, cry. I have not even prayed about it. But I just receive it. I just received it. I don't qualify for it. You see, now, this one, when you have such a dream, we work on it. If you don't work on it, it will never come to pass. Every good dream should be worked on. You see, let me tell you some, something. Some time ago, I, I, even though that time I never understood my dreams, but any dream I had, I prayed about it. Okay? I was praying both negative and positive those days. Some of them may work, some of them may not, because I didn't get a clear understanding. But let me tell you something. Once upon a time, I, I needed a job. So the first TV station I ever worked in in Ghana here was called TV Africa in Ghana. I applied as a marketer. You get what I'm saying? Now, the day I used to have this kind of dream as well. I would be driving, be driving. But hey, I didn't understand. Now, when I went there, per the qualification they put there, they needed a master's degree. I only had a degree. Okay? I had my first degree. Now, on that day of the interview, oh, when they called me, it, it came like impromptu. All my clothes, they were dirty. I didn't have a suit. I have worn it. I had not washed it. It was smelling. It was hanging. You know, boys, some of you, we don't like washing stuff, right? So I just placed it there. So the interview came, and I was looking for a shirt to wear. I got only one African wear, a shirt, and I said, let me put this on. When I went to the interview, I was the only one that was dressed odd. It looked as if everybody had the suit. And I especially, normally when, if I want to eat tension, when I go for interview, the guy sitting on my left and my right, I try to be friends with them. I go like, hey, how are you, sir? How are you? you know, that's, I, I just try to familiarize myself just to ease tension. Okay, you talk to them. But the guy that was neatly dressed, you can see his shoe was new. His pair of socks, they were new. He was in a new black suit with inner, what was blue. And the guy was fair. He was almost like a mixed race. Oh, what a handsome guy, man. Now, I was so dark and I was sitting by him. And I don't know whether maybe the guy is from a, a pure Christian home. But when the guy... You know had you know he was just praying so i said hey hello sir how are you then he was like you know like he doesn't want me to do this he's praying there meanwhile me i prayed from i prayed at home before coming he is praying there then i was like well, like i felt she, that he doesn't really want to talk to me so the other person um on my right he said hey how are you then we, we started having a chat okay now everybody went for the interview and when this guy was going for the interview when he was i don't know whether it was intentional i mean the the certificate fell from the file and also masters in whatever degree in whatever i said whoa then i think they have employed this guy because one he is very handsome and i'm not really gonna get to his level moreover he's handsome he's fair you know light skin and all that i mean my youtube say you know <laughs> so it went for the interview then it came to my time when i went there the first question they asked me now watch out to i didn't deserve that position but i had it the first question they asked me was that why is it that everybody as a marketer everybody's wearing shoes but you are the only one wearing an african wear why all of a sudden, I was just there. It just came to mind. Then I said, no, because I'm coming to an African oriented station. TV Africa, that's your slogan. Your motto is that promoting African values. And this is an African value. So the HR and the other team, they were looking at me and they were asking me questions. And they saw the way I spoke my English. 
like they, they thought that maybe I have lived in America before, but you know, it's just local kind of, you know. So I was just speaking to them. And it looked as if they were just interested in how I was speaking one way or the other, they were caught. You know, I caught their attention and I was able to, you know, answer everything. So what are you bringing on the table? I was able, you know, then I left. When I was leaving, honestly, if I look at how the whole people were dressed, people with master's degree and stuff. And later on, we were only two they picked. Not even the light skinned guy, the mixed race guy, he was not picked. Not knowing that when he went there, he went to mess up. So, well... I was there and they called me, hello, is that Albert? Yes, um, congratulations, you qualify for the interview. And when do you want to start with? And I was like, whoa, because we were 19. And they were looking for only two. And they found me. So the person I was employed with were two. That person even had the master's degree. I had only degree, but I fitted in perfectly. You see what favor can do? <laughs> so what I'm saying is that when you have such a dream whereby you were driving the car physically you don't know how to drive God is telling you something you know what God is saying listen there is a blessing I'm gonna bring on your way you don't deserve it it's gonna come through grace you know there are some blessings you deserve you know that this one you are really qualified for it and you are given you have your PhD or, and because the top position we, we want people with PhD to sit there and you have it. It's like you deserve. But in a situation whereby you are a degree holder and favor will find you say no. Even though we need PhD but we think this guy without even a PhD can do the job. And favor will just find you. You don't deserve it. Everything disqualifies you. As a matter of fact if they should choose by sight I think this um, half caste guy or the mixed race guy should have been chosen because to me I'm a, I'm, I'm a man but I saw him and I was like Charlie this guy is handsome you see what I'm talking about but favor did not find him he prayed whilst he was sitting by me but I don't know whether the prayer never worked but what I'm saying is that I was the one that was chosen. I don't deserve it. It's master's degree people who are supposed to be employed. But with first degree, I was fortunate. So you don't deserve it. Oh, let's talk about when it comes to marriage. Whereby you will know that, ah, this guy, I don't really deserve this guy. You can see this guy is handsome. Most ladies, you can really see from the time that there are some guys who are dating and you're not telling. This guy be fresh. You see, and among all the beautiful ladies, the guy says, you are the one I'm going to marry. It's favor that has found you. Most of you have such dreams all the time. May the favor of the Lord find you in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't deserve it, but with this dream, you, you, you have to have it. But there is something that has to be done about it. Which, And when I finish, I'm going to show you. When you have such a dream, Pray and protect it. Number two, keep quiet. Don't discuss with anybody. The reason I keep on hammering on that is because when you tell somebody, you don't know the spirit the person carries. The person, if the person understands dream, he can crush it for you and it will never happen. You said what I'm talking about. So you, you just have to be very careful. Don't ever discuss it with anybody. Don't. Pray to protect it. Father, I don't, have, I don't know how to drive. But so today I was driving so well. But I pray that Father help me. Protect this for me. Any favor that is due, whether in this year or the next year or the next month, Father, may I receive it in the name of Jesus. So you pray and you protect it. If possible, if you go to church, sow seed on that. And you will see sooner or later, you're going to see that there is something. You don't deserve it, but you just had it. Okay? So that is in one context. Now, what about the other? So let me tell you, when you dream, it does not mean that you're going to buy a car. It has nothing to do with car. The means of transport you saw as car is your life. Okay? Now, what about you can see that there is also a lady that is doing the same driving but it looks as if the lady is not driving the car well 
it can even be possible and the lady is like shouting it can even be like physically the lady knows how to drive but in the dream world the lady was not driving well it looks as if he's going and he will be you, you will see this lady is like she's driving all right but it looks as if something is happening it's like she's not able to hold the steering is is out of control it's like is the car is going to get an accident or something listen it's not an accident physical accident no the same way the car is going is the same way your life is going to go today you are up tomorrow you're down it's like life is twisting and turning you all the time you you can't be stable in life it's like you you, you 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 know that you are the most confused person on this earth you don't even know what to do ah i'm owing this one business is going down you're so confused in life you were jammed up when you have such a dream you are the one driving you are in control of your own life but you don't know how to control it well oh it's good to have understanding in dreams so if you have it like this please that's going to be a problem you will move from one problem you will never this is called instability in life you can never be stable in life you can never be go to the place of rest where you say ah oh, now everything is fine you will never find that so some of you this is how your life is going is going i don't know if some of you have had this kind of dream before whereby you were trying to drive but you weren't driving so well it looks as if you want to go and hit the wall you want to go and hit you are veering off your lane and it's like the car is not stable it's not about a car it is about your life you were not going to be stable instability is going to worry your life mm? okay now this is how it's going to go so when you see this you have to pray against instability god anything that does not want me to be stable in life you pray seriously against it all right you pray seriously against it now the same car because among all the means of transport car is the common one most of you see in dreams we will come to the airplanes and the trains okay but let's move to this one first now you can also see a lady smiling and the lady is showing a car key it's like it's showing a car key like this what you see she's so happy most of you dream and it's like you have a dream like this one it's like the lady has been gifted a car some of you may dream and someone will give you a brand new car a white one i mean a yellow one the color also matters sometimes because colors have volumes um in dreams i have done colors so you can go on my youtube page and go and watch okay so when you see this car key and someone gifted it to you please it is not always the meaning that you're gonna get a car god is going to give you a brand new life there is another level god is going to send you to and you are going to enjoy it okay there is a kind of life let's say today you are living in the zongo all right where your room is situated near a gutter okay the environment and you see someone giving you a car like this very soon the lord is going to favor you you're going to move to a very nice environment you'll be stable and you will know that ah initially i used to live in that compound house that house that we used to have one toilet now i have everything to myself god is going to give you a brand new life you have never lived in that kind of life before this is good when you are gifted a car okay it does not always mean that someone is going to give you a car no it's a brand new um life god is going to give to you it's a kind of life that is going to be very enjoyable it's going to be a stress-free life where you you won't owe light bill you won't owe, you won't own rent again you're not going to owe anybody anything it's like everything is in place oh my god sometimes i i can use myself for example when i look at my past and I look at how far God has brought me. Um, sometimes I say, I remember those days when we used to go and borrow Gary from people to eat. And you see, today 
when when I open my kitchen cabinet and I see all kinds of provisions and all that, sometimes I can look at it and I say, hey, really? Because at that time, the gallery was the most important. If you get missing at home, there is nothing there. But today, I still have the gallery there, but it's been a long time I edit. And most of the provisions that I have to give it out, hey, come for it. Because I can't, uh, now I'm in a place whereby I'm no more hungry again. You get what I'm saying? That is how God blesses people. So if you see that someone, it does not mean, meanwhile, let's say you are a student. Mm -hmm. Someone is paying your school fees and you had this dream and say someone is going to give you a car. No. How can you fuel it? How can you service it? The car is going to be a burden. Now remember, the blessings of the Lord has no sorrows. Anytime God is blessing you, if only the blessing is from God, God will never bless you for the blessing to be a burden for you. No. When the same blessing is becoming a burden for you, then that's not God that opened that door. The blessings of the Lord has no sorrows to it. It's not going to be a burden to you. It's God that opened the door. All right? Mm. Uh, so, those of you who are asking questions out of what I'm teaching, I'm not going to answer you. If you ask me, this is a class. If you ask me any question that is not related to these things, I'm not, I will pretend I have not seen it. So don't go out of context. Stay. You can't be in a biology class and you'll be asking physics questions. No, it's never done anywhere. Okay, now let's move to the same car. Let's move. Now, you can see that there is a man teaching a woman how to drive in the same car. Now, what does this also mean? When you dream and you see that someone sat you down and say, can I teach you how to drive? And the person will be teaching you, pass here, use this road, turn it here, go there, go. Oh, what a beautiful dream. Do you know what this dream means? It means that God is bringing you a destiny helper who is going to direct your life. Okay? A destiny helper. He's just only going to show you a way through that destiny helper. He's going to show you a way. And through that, through that destiny helper, a breakthrough will come. Destiny helpers are not always supposed to give you money. Because when you talk about destiny helper, people think that, oh, because, he, I mean, he gave me money. Yes, a destiny helper can give you, but it's not always the case. It's not always the case. A destiny helper can just direct you. Please, can you go here, A, B, C? And when you go there, you see your breakthrough. So God is bringing you a destiny helper that is going to direct your life, especially when you are confused and all that. Okay? So that is how it is. So when someone is teaching you how to drive, oh, praise the Lord, in the dream, there is a destiny helper coming into your life. But sometimes in a situation whereby you see that you were in the car and someone was driving and the driver was not driving so well. It was like you were afraid and the person who was on a tough speed driving, you know, there is somebody in your life you have to be very careful of or that person. It can be a friend. It can be a family. You're too close to the person and you talk too much to the person. The person will disappoint you or will, will make your life very miserable. That means the person is actually in control of your life. Mm? That is, if the person is driving you and you are sitting at the passenger side and the person is not driving well. But in the situation whereby the person is driving you well, then your life is in the hands of the Lord. God is actually taking you on a journey and you will reach there very soon. He is in control of your life to say. All right. Now, let's look at this Salunka. Mm -hmm. There is an old saloon car. I'm still on the car. There is an old saloon car there. Very ugly. Okay? Most of you dream and you'll be driving a very old car. Huh? With a lot of smoke. Like this one. You sight this one in a dream. That is your life you are seeing. This is setback. Oh, Papa, today, hmm, I, I was driving an old car. The car, I was even pushing, sparking. It wasn't. That is set back for you. Your life is going to go back. Wherever you've got into in life, you're going to go back again. 
Okay, you are the boss. You may lose the, 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 that position. So anytime you see this kind of car, an old saloon car like this, you have to know that there is a position you are occupying or there is a breakthrough that is about to come, but you may not have it. It will go back. You, your life will step back. So I told you that step back does not mean that you won't go forward. You move one step forward, you move 10 step backwards all the time. This dream is related to those old school dreams. Those people who dream and you see yourself back in school, back in the old house you used to live in. Okay, so you see these things, you have to know that please, the old car is going to send you back. Your life is going to be set back. May the Lord let your comeback be more than your setback in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm, that is how it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's go to the SUV too. There is also an old um, four-wheel drive there. You can see say, the car is, has, it is, it is even rusted. But it's a four wheel. So some of you can see, ah, today I saw an old car. I was the one driving it. It wasn't even going properly like the picture you were seeing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is also one of the biggest sector. But you know, the difference between the saloon and the SUV is that SUVs, they are actually in more higher position in life more than the saloon. So this one, it can be that he's the CEO of the company okay he is the head pastor of the church and you see an old car like this please pastor you're gonna have challenges with your church and if you don't take care you will lose all the members you set back is gonna set in there these ones they happen to the main people so it can be that you have a lot of businesses you have branches let me tell you you're gonna lose the business within the twinkle of an eye you will lose everything and come to zero when you see that this is setback okay all right now let's also go here the same cow now some of you dream and you see yourself being a bus driver so you can see that there is a man in a yellow bus okay it can be yellow bus or a commercial bus okay if you if you go to the uk they call it coaches you say, I'm going to take a coach. These ones, you were you the one dreaming. You were the driver. So have you seen? He is a bus driver. Listen. Anybody that drives a commercial car in a dream, it does not mean that you are going to be poor. It's ministry. If you know, and you, you saw a lot of passengers there, and you were the one driving it, that's your ministry. You have a calling. Mm, if you are the bus driver, you have a calling. Mm, you have a calling. Anybody, whether a man or a woman, if you see yourself driving this, you are the bus driver. And a lot of passengers are in, and you are driving them to their destination place. You are a pastor. God has called you. There is no interpretation about this one. God has called you. Seriously. Hmm? God has called you. Someone is saying that what if the bus is empty? If the bus is empty, you are now about to start ministry. So such people, you have to ask God, Father, you've given me a ministry. Which area are you giving? Because if you don't know the area, you won't know the destination of the people. Like my ministry, for instance. Now my area, I'm doing these dreams. The people's destiny are in this. So if I give a wrong interpretation, I have worried the life of people. You know that? So they know where they are going and my, the, the gift God has given to me and the dreams they are going to have, my direction is going to lead them into their destinations. So if the bus is empty, as my dear sister asks, if the bus is empty, please, your ministry is about to start, but you, you haven't gotten to know the area yet. So you pray to God that, Father, which area? That is why all the conferences I'm organizing, the people in the UK and the people in Kumasi, when I come, we're going to have two. First conference is going to be general. Second conference is going to be only those who have calling. The second conference, if you don't have a calling, don't even come. 
if you have a call if you've had any of these dreams i'm going to show you how you can identify your gift which area has God called you and how you should start the ministry and to know your ministry whether you are a full-time pastor or a part-time pastor we're going to learn about all this and by the time I leave your country you will be able to know the area God has called you so if you're driving the bus now not only the bus normally the bus if you see yourself driving the bus okay it tells you you are a minister of God. What about if you see yourself as a pilot and you are about to fly a plane, a pilot? Did I send you that picture, please? There is a lady in the plane. Yes. Okay, great. So now most of you see yourself. Has anybody had this kind of dream before whereby you were the one about to fly the plane? <laughs> Meanwhile, you don't even know where the whatever, whatever thing. I don't even know the names given to the um, icons on the um, dashboard of a plate. And you realize that, oh, I was the pilot today. I was the pilot in the dream. And I feel that those people who have, who have international ministries, these are the dreams you have. Your ministry is not only going to be in your country. If you see yourself... Mm. And let me quickly answer this. You see, what if the road is bad? Yes, if the road is bad, it will affect your life. That means you are actually leading your life on a path and it wouldn't help you. So you ask God to put you on the right path. The lady that asked the question, Chris Inkum, yeah, you asked the question if the road is bad. That you're talking about the car, right? Now, this pilot. This one is ministry. Please don't let anybody misinterpret this to you. I know what I'm talking about. You had a dream and you were the one flying it. You were the pilot. You were the one announcing, hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to enter into some turbulence and blah, blah, blah. You were the pilot controlling it. Hey, you have ministry, but your ministry is very international. Very, very international. You're not going to be in one country not your country but god will move you to other countries to do ministry you get what i'm saying let me try to read some few you. you say what does it mean when a bus waited for you till you entered it now if you are not the bus driver okay when the bus waited for you that means there is a role you have to play in ministry so pray to God that Father show me that role. But what I'm saying is that if you are the driver, then you are going to um, be the minister of God. What if one of the passengers sitting, what if I'm the one of the passengers sitting in front? You too, you have a ministry, but you are not the main. You are not called to start ministry, but you're supposed to help in ministry. That is if you are, especially with this pilot, you saw that in the dream you were the co-pilot there. So you, you have to help in ministry. Okay? Mm. Papa, what if you are passenger in the bus with your boss and family? If you are the passenger in the car with your boss and family, there is also another level of life God wants you. Yours is not actually ministry. All right? With your boss and your family in your family and even at where you're working there is a vital um a role god wants you to play in your family maybe in the family you are you are the one that god is going to bless for other people to be blessing and you are also going to be a blessing for your boss okay so this one has nothing to do with ministry all right okay so let's move on See, uh, please, what about if someone the car? Please come clear. If someone the car is means what? Okay, so now let, 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 let's go again to the next one. All right? Now, um, this one, I think I forgot. There is also a car going on reverse. You can see, you, um, some of you, the car you will be driving, you step on the accelerator and instead of the car to move forward in the dream it was going backwards let me tell you if you have a contract you will lose it if you have a position you will lose it it's also another form of setback like this one 
he has actually so you can see how surprised he is I, how come i have stepped on the accelerator but the car is going backwards it's your life it has nothing to do with cow it's your life that is going to go backwards this one that's the meaning okay let's move on to the next one now some of you also dream and you'll be driving a train you are a train driver it's also ministry a train driver you can see the old kind of train with the driver is the same okay that is how it is and maybe um you were also the captain of a ship okay captain of a ship i don't know whether i i send the picture now you see all these ones captain of the ship is also ministry this is a train um driver he's the one driving the train let me tell you this is also ministry please i beg you it has nothing to do with um whatever okay it has nothing to do with it is also a ministry okay so um please i'm sending you the captain of the ship as well so you can help me with that picture so this one is the one controlling the train uh, all right so this one is ministry and also when a captain like what you're going to see the captain of a ship please you are also a minister of the gospel you're going to handle ministry but your ministry is going to be very different you know those kind of people who have unique ministry it's not the other normal kind of ministry it's going to be very unique unique kind of ministry god is going to give to you it has not so you can see the captain dress and is holding the steering wheel and is controlling the ship now you are called to minister the gospel all right you are called to minister the gospel okay so that is it now let's narrow it down you know the canoe the wooden canoe too this is also a symbol of your life if you see yourself riding a canoe like this one or you were sitting in the canoe or someone was actually paddling it for you this one eh, <laughs> is a means of transport too um, there will be, uh, be changing this one. Can you put a bicycle to there for me, please? Mm -hmm. Try to put a basket because they have the same meaning. If you see a canoe, you're sitting in the canoe, or a bicycle, let me tell you something. You will go forward in life, but I'm telling you, it will keep very long. It will keep very, very long for you to move forward in life. So let's say, um, per God's agenda, you were supposed to marry at age 28, per God's agenda, and you saw yourself riding a bicycle in a dream or paddling a canoe in a dream. You will get married maybe at age 40. That is the plan of the enemy. That is not the agenda of God. So this one will let you go forward. But before you will achieve a blessing, it will take a very long time. A very Maybe age 40, you will now be dating, hoping it ends in marriage. So when you see yourself paddling a canoe or this one, it's, it's also a form of going forward in life, but it will take too, too, too long before you can get that blessing God has for you. This one, I don't like it at all in a dream. You were riding a bicycle. You were paddling a canoe like this one. Okay? It's going to really take time before you reach your destination. Now, can you take this off? Let's do this. Can you put the cruise ship there? Hmm? Let me also show you something this one is also part of your life the cruise ship but let me explain maybe you had a dream if you had a dream and you were the um what do you call it the captain of this one it means you have a ministry okay but if you were sitting in this one these people eh, they have a very now hear me when you see a cruise ship 
let me take the minister and the normal person so let's say you were the captain of this cruise ship let me tell you something this one it takes a very long time for god to prepare them but when they, their ministry start it will attract the whole world just like moses god called moses at 8 40. god used another 40 years to prepare moses so when god was sending moses moses was 80 years old so i called you at age 40 but i'm sending you at age 80. this one that is when the, the in the context whereby you were the captain of the cruise ship you were a minister of the gospel but god would take his time to prepare you because of the tax ahead and within the shortest possible time when god sends you let me tell you the whole world will hear about your ministry very unique very unique within short time all of a sudden you will see somebody rising up you see that's why most people the jerry is and stuff um the man that does the god what god cannot do people speak against the man do you know where they are coming from do you know how well prepared god has made them so when he came to ghana and he was able to move like six thousand people people were complaining were they 60,000 or uh, whatever? 60,000 60, people at the trade fair. People were like, eh, you like Nigerians. Do you know where he's coming from? It's like all of a sudden, shoom, what God cannot do does not exist. And people are just moving. So most of the pastors see him as a threat. He's coming to take our members. And pastors are preaching against him all but you see i love something about that guy eh? he does not respond to anything he does not you see he goes to every country and is able to move the numbers and now people have the gut to do videos and say that he's demonic and as god says that um, there is a woman video god says he should close that thing it's not from him are you serious mama you know where he's coming from these are the cruise ship ministries you see they, he was a captain so anytime you have a dream and you were the captain of such a cruise ship please it will take time for god to prepare you but when god shoots you up like that the whole world will hear it's like where is he coming from that's where people will be asking who mentored him? Who is his spiritual father? Eh, it was God though, who was his spiritual father. God mentored him. You see? So everywhere people will accept the ministry. You sit there as a minister and be jealous of him. Do you know the sacrifices God has made him do? You have no idea. He shoots up and you are complaining. He shoots up and you are complaining. God takes time to prepare such people. You see, um, Joshua Selma. Years back, he wasn't Joshua Selma. All of a sudden, boom. He's not a prophet. He's not, but he speaks and it catches the attention of people. You think he just came? It takes time. Hmm? So, if you are the captain of this, now what about if you're a passenger? If you're a passenger, that is your life. You too. In the area of your blessings god will take time but one day god will shoot you up and it will be like ah was it not this guy that 10 years ago he was begging for gary how come the guy has transformed people don't know what you've gone through oh i love to see chris in a dream i'm not saying go and dream about it if you go and dream about it tonight it's garbage dream <laughs> okay cruise ship is powerful them man you see that they will start all their mates will be going forward and they are left behind you see that this mate is a doctor this mate is blah blah this mate and it's like ah, but we completed the same school take your time you're seeing this and you are sitting in the cruise ship take time god is even if you were maybe standing at the seashore and you saw it like that in a dream oh come on that is how your life is going to be god will take time one day when god shoots you like a rocket all those who took the lead they will come and like what happened 
and they will be coming for solution from you. Hmm. So you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So now, let's move to the motorbike. It's also a means of transport. People see themselves on the motorbike and they are riding a motorbike. Okay? You're riding a motorbike in a dream. Means of transport you see is your life. Okay? Listen. Anybody that sees this too is your life. But these people, they rush in life. Whenever you see yourself riding a motorbike, it's a means of transport, it's your life. But God is trying to tell you that you should calm down for him to bless you. Don't take the lead ahead of God. Because the blessing is not complete yet. So you know what? Let me bring it back to ministry. You see a young prophet that God is raising. Now he has started seeing one or two things. Quickly, he wants to start his own ministry. Uh, your ministry is not safe. That is your life. God is trying to pick you. You were poor. God is trying to pick you. He has given you um, some financial breakthrough. And all of a sudden you go like, hey. No. God wants you to. He is not done yet. Don't be in a rush. If you see yourself with this one. Because the blessing you are having is not secured yet. Take your time. Some of you. The moment God opens the door. You want every family member of yours. To know let me tell you something i had a gentleman last week who visited me in my office okay and the gentleman it was you see he god blessed him with money anytime he goes for funeral he start distributing money and all eyes came on the guy oh he's so good he's blessing the family now there was a time he went for a funeral with a wife and after distributing the money, the wife said that you've been giving money all the time, but this money you give, my spirit is seriously against it. I don't know. I feel so down, not knowing that that was the guy's downfall because there is a wrong hand that took some of the money and it was used against the guy. He lost every contract and now he's zero in life. He went and gave, because God lifted him small. Motorbike people, these are your dreams. So if you see uh, you were riding a motorbike, listen, don't be in a rush. Your blessing is not complete yet. It's a means of transport. It's connected to your life. But please calm down. Don't be in a rush. Take time. Let God finish preparing you. Don't start go and be sharing money to people. For what reason? You want everybody to know that you were blessed. Do you know you are not too strong spiritually? They can break you down so easily. Somebody getting me. Some of you, eh? Makuma muya. Sorry, I'm speaking my local language, but let me explain. I'll come back to English. Makuma muya maom. Nyami nyam peja muye. Also, em em kakrana nyami be peja. Especially mwa mwa bruche no. Ma bushi em nobody obi an kwa bruche da. Wa kwa bruche ba kwa. Oh, buy your person will be on. Hey, 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 twenty dollars. Hey, no. Let me tell you. All what I'm trying to say is that those of you who are abroad, maybe your extended family, nobody has traveled abroad. You are the first person, so you came back. There is a funeral. You came out. All of a sudden, you start doing show. Everybody, because you come from abroad, and so what? Most people come from abroad they come to their family they go there they lose their jobs and life is never the same they keep going down and down take your time motorbike for take your time these people rush in life it's not time is not due yet for you to expose yourself you are exposing yourself prematurely if you're a minister please don't expose yourself prematurely let God finish preparing you. Don't rush to go and start any ministry. You will hit the rock soon. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Some of you, you are too much in a rush. You, because, you see, when things were hard for you, eh? I remember one lady was like, you know, the lady actually, what she deals in is that she makes local soap. And she completed the university. 
Now, when he fin when she completed university, she decided to go and learn how to do soap. And you know, normally when you are from the university, people actually put you on a, on a, part uh, a particular you know level that oh, these menial jobs you don't have to. So the friends were laughing at her. Now, how, how can you finish the university and you'll be learning how to make soap? Are you serious? We, instead of you to take your certificate and go and look for a good company, you are there learning soap. So, little did they know that out of the soap, now the lady exports the soap. It's locally made. It's for the skin. And you are getting results. So, she exports it and the lady, I went into her, when I visited her, she was like, you see, when I started making it and I bought my first SUV, my four-wheel drive, I decided to visit all my friends who were laughing at me. They were still taking commercial car, but I had my car. So when I go to them, I would take my car and I say, hello. You see, what was the mind? He's in a rush. You want to go and show them. No, listen, let God expose you. Don't expose yourself. Allow God to expose you, my sister. You see, what point do you want to prove? You want to prove to them that once upon a time they were laughing at you and now you've made it and now they are walking, taking commercial car and you have your own car and you want to prove them. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> Nothing is going gonna, to gonna happen. Don't prove yourself. Let God himself expose you. Simple. All right? So today, I know we've done so much, I think. Now, the last one we're going to look at, which I nearly forgot, is those of you who see missing cars in a dream it's also a means of transport that is missing mm -hmm. some of you so you can see that there is a guy in the garage the last picture we are putting there and the guy is like it looks as if every car is there but his car is missing most of you have dreams and your cars are missing in a dream you are going to be stagnant in life for a very long time look at this one so you can see that there is a car park, but where he is standing, his car is missing. It's, so in the dream, most of you, ah, but I parked the car here. I know some of you can park the car at a um, parking lot. You go into a supermarket. In the dream, you come back and it's like, and some of you will see that someone is moving your car. But listen, if later on you find the car, that the stagnation cannot take hold of you. But if you will be looking for the car in a dream and you don't find the car, your life will be stagnant for a long time. It's a symbol. Has anybody had that kind of car before? Um, sorry, kind of dream before? Seeing your car getting missing in a dream. Can I see by hand, please? Mm? Can I see by hand? If you have had a dream, you saw that you parked your car here and the car was nowhere to be found. It does not mean that it's about, it's about your life. It's good. You are going to be stagnant for a long time. I see um, Karen saying the same thing. I see um, is it Karine, Karine Hall also saying the same thing. Yes. Okay, then it's a sorry, Anthony Bynum. And um, Tata um, Mulelu and Dolly Ramadimusi. Okay. Frimpon Agnes. You see the number of people. Now you check your life. When you have this dream, please pray against stagnation or else this level you are, you are single. And your car was, listen, you will be single forever if nothing is done. You've worked in a company for 10 years. No promotion is coming. You will, be, you will remain at... You will see that people are employed. You will teach them how to work and they will be promoted. You will come under them. Your car has been missing in a dream all the time. That is stagnation in life. Okay? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? So that is how it is. So um, she, the one that is saying, but you found it, that's good news. When you find the car later, the stagnation is canceled. So when you wake up, you pray against the stagnation. Hallelujah. God richly bless all of you. Um, let me call the prayer team. Are you ready? Come here. Let's all do the prayers together so we can assist them so that they can also pray. God richly bless all of you. 
God bless all of you. We're gonna pray. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Almighty God for bringing us this. Take your time and go over these teachings again. Faith coming by hearing and hearing. So if you want to capture it in your spirit, after this live broadcast, when you are there and you are free, you see, there is a woman I visited um, in Germany. You know, when you go early morning, you will connect it to um, the system. She will be in the kitchen and she will still be listening. You see, she wants it so she virtually knows every dream. Oh man, this is what you have to be doing, okay? In your leisure time, be listening to some of these things because of the dreams. I'm on from Pempai, but maybe yeah, but bomb pie ya on. Ne so te na number is about one fifty two. Oh. <laughs> we we have about 149 oh they say do pay no no mu dwane mo dey mo empire no e be manage na no when it comes to the prayer then you be running you go hmm Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are in church, so but I know definitely it will come to 1.30. <laughs> we are tired. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we begin to thank God in the name of Jesus? Kabado Shehede Karaba. In Tobro Shebede Beshigrin Debe. Benda Brando Bolobo Shebre and Dabala Bashikata. Imento Bayante Kayaki Yaki Yande. In the Broche Bede Besigro Hande Brashigre Hato Branto Bolobo Shep. In Tapayaki Yaki and Telele Boshehe. Rabba Bushi E. Kadai. In Tuyante Katai Sakandia. In Dolobo Shibron de Kapa. Ia patu sekete brehande, enda bra shogron de bre shigren de be, bronte branto bronchen da bra, endo bolobo shibre kapayante ia, ain de lele katu zen de be, enda bra shepolo boshe be, rande bolobo bolobo shi be, enda branto bolobo shi be ende be, yante katole be shi be ende be, enda branto bolobo shi be, yente kai kala na bate be. Rande bol de broche pedebe, en namazi katayan debe, en dolo bolo boshi pedebe, en nablando bolo 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 boshi be. Ya papaya, ya papaya, ya papaya, ya nablando bolo boshi bolo bolo bo, ya bere 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 bere, na 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 bolo 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 bo, ya bere 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 bere, ya bere 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 bere, ye bere 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 shapolo bolo bo, pa ya pa ya, pa ya pa ya, ye gede 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 bo shebron debe, raka ta 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 ta, ye ndolo lolo bo shebele bele bele, branda 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 balaba, branda 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 balaba, ya na bala ma brando bolo bolo bo shebe, ina brando bala 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 ba, ya ndo brando bolo 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 boshe bere 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 kabaya, yanda branda bala bala branda bala bala, yanto bolo 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 bolo, yanto bolo bolo boshe bere bere bere, yanto bolo 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 bolo, yenda branda bolo bolo bolo, yendo branda bolo boshi bala bashi gede gede be, mazi yende bere bere, yenda branda bolo 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 bolo, yenda branda bolo 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 bolo, yanto branda bere 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 Enda mazwa baya, ipa ya si ketelele boshebo, rapa la bale bronto bolo boshebe, enda bronto bolo bo, yanto bolo bolo boshebe de de de, enda bronto bolo bo, enda bronto bolo bolo boshebe de de de, enda bronda bala ba boshebe de de, banta bala ba bronde de, enda bronto bolo boshebe de de de, enda bronto bolo bolo boshebe de de. Yanda branto bolo bolo boshe bere bere, yanda branto bolo bolo boshe 
in the name of Jesus, oh God, keep up worshiping him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen, we, we, we're going to pray. I, I remember some time ago I told people that there was once upon a time a guy that called me that papa today i had a dream and i was driving a range over so and in the dream whilst i was driving it i packed the range over visited a friend i came back and the range over has 10. a range over is more like an suv so you see it has turned into a saloon car but it was very nice in the dream i continued to drive the saloon car at a point in time i felt like urinating so i parked the car entered into the urinal came back and the car has turned into motorbike and when i was driving the riding the motorbike whilst i was on it turned into a bicycle this is pure retrogression pure retrogression you see so we're going to pray any means of transport you've seen that does not speak well yes. maybe the car was an old car you were driving the car you were not able to drive it the car was involved in an accident and you didn't even know where the gear or whichever accelerator to step on it's like you were confused any means of transport you've seen in a dream and that means of transport was not in a good shape some of you, um, you, you had a dream and you were trying to fly the plane and you, you, you didn't know where the buttons to press and you, you, you were not able to fly. Your ministry is seriously under attack. You have an, an international ministry as you wanted to fly the plane, but it's seriously under attack. So I want us to pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the Heavenly Father, whatever dream I have had about any of the means of transport, that is negative to me, that will make me stagnant, that will bring setback to me. We cancel it in Jesus' name. Say, Amen. Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm in your presence. I'm in your presence. I pray. I pray. And I enter. And I enter into my dream world. Into my dream world. Any means of transport. Any means of transport that I have seen. That I have seen before. Before. Or recently, or recently, I pray. I pray in the name, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Of the Lord Jesus. If that means of transport, if that means of transport does not mean good. Does not mean good. If it brings setback, if it brings setback, if it brings stagnation, if it brings stagnation, in the name, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus, I cancel, I cancel in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I cancel, I cancel, I destroy, I destroy it. Your word says, Your word says, no weapon, no weapon, fashion against, fashion against, me, against me shall prosper. Shall prosper. Are based on the I word. Based on the word. It is sharper, it is sharper than, any than any to a soul. To a soul. In, Jesus in Jesus' name, I come against you. I come against in Jesus' name, in Jesus negative name. dreams negative about dreams. means of transport. Means of transport. We, break we break it down. We break it. We burn it. We burn it. Consume, it. Consume by fire. By fire. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. In the brand of Bolobo. Be shapala ba de brand of Bolobo. In the brand of Bolobo. Shabbat <laughs> 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 
Say fire of God. Fire of God. Consume, Consume anything, anything that fight against that fight against my means of transport. My means of transport in the dream. In the dreams. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If my means of transport, if my means of transport is stagnant, is stagnant. I take it away. I take it away from stagnation. From stagnation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If my means of transport. My means of transport represents setback. Represents setback. I take it. I take it from setback. From setback. I will come back. I will come back from setback. From setback. In Jesus' in name. Jesus Jesus in Jesus name. name in Jesus name in Jesus name now we are praying in Jesus name every means of transport you've you've had in a dream or you've seen in a dream and it means good anything that is fighting against the good aspect of it Jesus those some of you I tell you you see you don't dream and you are in a plane for nothing if God has established your destiny in someone's country, you will see yourself in a plane. The means of transport you saw as a plane is connected to your life. But you can see that the country you are in, because your time is up from there. You know, I normally I explain this to you. I'm not the kind of pastor who wants everybody to leave his country, especially those Africans. Let me tell you. If God wants you to travel to another country to go and make it, he will show it to you in a dream. Mm. These are the planes you see. It is telling you part of your destiny is someone's country. I've shown it to you. But some of you have gotten this dream, but the dream is under attack. Yes. So any good aspect of these means of transport yes. dreams yes. that is under attack. Jesus. Jesus. We attack the attacker. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will cause the enemies that rises up against you to fall and be defeated right before you. Amen. May every enemy, Jesus. the one that is connected from your home. Yes. Now listen, all these things start. Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. He said, A man's enemy is the members of his own household. Where you come from, your background, you are praying that that thing that fights against good things because there are some things in your family that is, is more like a protocol nobody breaks it nobody travels here nobody builds a house here nobody marries here nobody gives birth here those limitations you are going to break that is what is fighting against the good aspect of the means of transport you are seeing and say Lord Jesus Lord Jesus we break we break any limitation from our background evil altars evil 
people altars from our background from our that rises up that rises up against the breakthrough against the breakthrough and the good dreams and the good dreams we have about we have about the means of transport, means of transport in Jesus name. in Jesus name any attack any attack on it on it I attack I attack the attack the attack I scatter them, I scatter them from my breakthrough from my breakthrough in Jesus name, in Jesus name. and I protect and I protect it. In Jesus, in Jesus name begin to pray ye palo palo bo shi branda bala e na branto pala ba shi be de be de ra ke de ke de de bro shi palo palo bo shi ba ya e na ma zwan ta pala ba shi be de de be ye be de 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 be zwa ba da zwa ba da zwa ba da zwa ba da be do palo palo bo shi be de be de be brian do palo palo bo do palo bo shi be de be de be Banda bala ba bro je be de be ya bala ba ni bro do bo lo bo e na bala do bo lo bo lo bo lo bo i ba ya ba ya i ba ya ba ya anto bala ba shi ka ta 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 ya ta 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 ya ta 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 ya ba da ba da ba 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 ya ba da 
You will not die until you fulfill destiny. Amen. Nobody can kill you at your age. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say in this my age. In this my age. And the age ahead of me. And the age ahead of me. Nobody, nobody born of a woman, born of a woman can ever kill me. Can ever kill me in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. When they plan it, when they plan it, I will also escape. I will also it. escape it. in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. The word says, the word says, my soul, my soul escape, escape as a bird, as a bird out of the snare, out of the snare of the fowler, of the fowler. My soul, my soul escape, escape as a bird, as a bird out of the snare, out of the snare of the fowler, of the fowler. They may plan. They may plan. It will never work. It will never work. My soul, my soul will always, will always escape, escape the snare, the snare of, Satan. of Satan. In Jesus' In name. Jesus name. Premature death. Premature death. It's not my portion. It's not my portion. Premature death. Premature death. It's not my portion. It's not my portion. I will fulfill. I will fulfill every destiny. Every destiny. The law. The law has designed, has designed me, me to fulfill. To fulfill before. Before the Lord Himself. The Lord Himself will call me. Back. Call me back home, home in Jesus, in Jesus name. name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. My family, my family. The evil spirit, the evil spirit. They can never, they can never control my control life. Control my life because, because the one, the one that dwells in that me, dwells in me, that stays in me, that stays in me, is far more bigger. Is far more bigger. The one, the one that is in the world, that is in the world. In Jesus, in name. Jesus name. I shall live. I shall live. And I will declare. I will declare the wonderful works, the wonderful works of the Almighty, of the Almighty God. God. In Jesus. Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to pray for all those who dream <laughs> and you easily forget. Some of you dream and you easily forget. I want to pray for you. Can you lift up your head? Lift up your hand if you dream and you easily forget it. It's like sometimes when you wake up, it looks as if you dreamt, but you can't remember anything. Sometimes flashes of it comes, but you just can't remember it. Oh my God. Lift up your hand. Let me pray. Your dream world is under attack. Your spiritual antenna is under attack. It is very bad or demonic for you to dream and easily forget. Okay? You dream and you easily forget. And some of you too, when you wake up, you feel like you didn't dream at all. Mm -hmm. You too, you can raise up your hand. You feel, it looks as if you didn't dream at all. We, I'm going to pray for you. And from tonight, from my time, Ghana time, you are going, your spirit is going to open. It's going, your antenna is going to be sharp. Amen. You will not forget any dream again. Jesus name. You will not forget any In dream. Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for all those who have lifted up their hand that may they never forget their dreams again. Amen. 
whatever attack their dreams is under father we crush the attack amen anything that fights against their dream world whatever that fight against their spiritual eye jesus. whatever that fights against their third eye jesus. i pray in the name of jesus may that third eye be open amen in the powerful name of jesus amen from today you will have your dreams very clearly amen in the mighty name of jesus amen you will have it clearly amen in jesus mighty name amen. you will see what god has for you amen and you will see what the devil has planned against amen. you in the mighty name of jesus amen. may the lord touch your dream world amen. touch your spiritual antenna amen. activate your spirit amen. may your spirit get every communication amen. into your brains amen into your memory amen in jesus name amen by fire by tender amen any demonic entity jesus. that steals the picture jesus anytime the lord reveals to you jesus. you feel you've had a dream yes but you easily forget it Ha-ha-ha-ha. i come against that attack amen in jesus name amen I open your spirit. May the Holy Spirit in you activate you. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to continue to be praying. From today when you sleep, you will remember the dreams you had. No devil, no devil can touch your dreams again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, there is a woman here. Let me talk to you because of what I'm hearing. You have only one son. Only one son. There's every you don't have a daughter, you don't have you have only one son. I'm talking about a very matured son. Only one. You have one child, and that child is a son. Pray you don't lose your your son. Okay. Your your I'm not talking about a woman that is based in Ghana. Okay, you are based outside. That's what I'm hearing. Pray for your son. Mm-hmm. The devil has an eye on your son. Your son is matured, but I have seen that the devil wants to lead your son to a place. And if you don't take care, if you lose your son, you, you are not even a grandma yet, even though you qualify to be one. Okay, if you lose your son, remember, you won't have any descendant on this earth. Pray for your son very well. Let me be honest with you. There is a woman, your, your son I'm talking to you about is not married yet, even though he is due for marriage. But there is a woman coming into the life of your son. If you don't take care through that woman, your, 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 your son will lose the life. I'm seeing more like, it, like a relationship. Okay, I don't think you're the woman you are even aware of it. You have to be very prayerful for your son. Okay? And also, I'm seeing um, a woman. Yeah, I'm seeing that you have a little child. The child, uh, the, the child has actually been suffering from rashes. Initially, you, you thought it was heat rashes, but it's more like becoming a permanent stuff. My God. My God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. For that child of yours. May that thing the enemy has touched the body with. Jesus. I burn all. Amen. From the body. Amen. May she as here. Amen. From your, 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 your son's body. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. That may the Lord heal that son. Amen. That child of yours. Amen. And I also pray for this woman who has a son, only one son. Whatever trap the enemy wants to walk your son into. I cancel it in Jesus' Amen. name. Your son will live. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Your son will live. Amen. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. My God. My God. May the Lord protect you and your children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord protect you and your children. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me say this to a young lady here. I'm saying that you, that young lady, you have a prophetic gift. Many pastors have confirmed it to you. Okay? But it looks as if, looking at what is happening, there is this thing that is actually setting you back. It's like, it's not allowing you to do the ministry God wants you to do. Mm. 
I'm, I'm, I'm talking to someone who is 34 years old. God has a calling for you. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about someone who was born in July. God has a calling for you. And I, your calling, your prophetic gift is serious and attack. I pray that may the Lord release you. Amen. I set you free and loose. Amen. From that attack. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My God. Kaboshi in the Basuhari Abasiki. Zabrindi Kadushi Antala Bashaya. Ye Gadushi Hane. The, 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 this one is quite sensitive. Eh? There, is, there is a man watching me. <laughs> How do I put it? There, there, there is a problem with your genital organ. If I should say, I mean, let me say it's penis, right? Yes. I don't know whether I can say penis in public because what of that? there is a problem with it. That there is a problem with your penis, and you can see if you, you kind of feel shy to talk about it, mm. but it's, it's killing you gradually. I pray, may the power of God enter there and heal you. Amen. Mm. The experience is too bad. May the power of God heal you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May the power of God heal you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, God. Can I pray for pregnant women on the platform right now? If you are here and you are pregnant, can you lift up your hand? Let me pray with you right now. The pregnant woman. If you're if you're pregnant, can you can you lift up your hand? Let, let me pray. Let me pray with you. A pregnant woman on the platform, can I pray with you right now? If you're pregnant, can I pray with you right now? Makola bashi hede brasu bre basu kata yale. Ragi ande gi ande gi ande katushke de be andaba. Any pregnant woman, lift up your hand. Let me pray with you right now. La bro shigre hande brasi bro kadabiati. La badua ki di ande briando le bo 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 shibo. La bra ki tolo bo shibrando bo lo bo lo bo shibaya. Inda balaba bro shibere be sheke. I pray in Jesus name. Listen, prayer team. I want us to pray. Okay. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Any pregnant woman. Any pregnant woman. On this platform. On this platform. May they never die. May they never die. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. When they are about to give birth. When they are about to give birth. Father. Father. Take control. Take control. Of their lives. Of their lives. Of the baby. Of the baby. And their lives. And their lives. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. My God. <coughs> hmm. Because um, man of God, what, what I'm actually hmm, I pray that may the Lord begin to protect all the pregnant women on this platform. Amen. May the Lord protect everybody. Amen. Nobody will give birth and die. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. My God. Ha Hallelujah. Amen. Kabado Shehede Beshaya. Yibre Kotolo Boshaba. Hallelujah. Now, let me, let me pray for this woman here before we go. There is a woman here. You had a dream, mm? and the dream you had, it was like you were actually trying to swim. Mm. You were swimming, but it looked as if it was so, so difficult for you to swim. 
I want to pray for you. You were swimming, but it, it looked as if it was so, so much difficult for you to swim. It was difficult for you to swim. All right? You, you, you had that dream and you were swimming, but it was difficult for you to swim. My God. It was like you were on the surface of the water, but you were not the only person in the water. It looked as if you saw other people, but those people were swimming okay. But it looked as if you, it was difficult for you to swim. It's a dream you had. Okay? It's a dream you had. Who? You read Sally. Yeah. It was, it was difficult for her to swim. My God. Eurice, wherever you are, I pray for you. Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty take you away. Amen. From any marine spirit that is making you stagnant in life. Jesus. Amen. In the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. I set you free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I set you free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I set her free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My God. La broche katuli anti kataya sunte. La brasso broke palabashi hedebe. Yanto broche brende bra i karabarabaha. Rapa do 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 kade palabashi he. Zikra katuze andeba. Yes, God. Yes, God. Uh, I want to pray for two people. These two people, the dreams you have is almost like the same, though in different contexts. Okay? One of you, you had a dream, and your mother, you were doing your mother's funeral. Okay? But you didn't see your mom in the casket. But there was one you were actually informed in the dream that your mom is dead. But honestly, you, 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 the two people, your moms, they are alive. One, you saw yourself and it was your mother's funeral. And the second lady, your dreams, they were telling you your mom is dead. Okay? But your moms are alive. These are raw dreams you had. I want to pray for such people right now okay right now masubre ika bushi hanta balaba basuba ayande brase kete 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 la masu inde brasu kapaya yente krasu groshe bolo bolo bo we pray for their mothers we pray we cancel because their time is not up yet in the name of Jesus their time is not up yet in the name of Jesus their time is not up yet in the name of Jesus their time is not up yet we pray that Heavenly Father take control over their lives in the name of Jesus oh my God oh my God we pray that their mothers are not dying their mothers are not dying Amen. They will leave. Amen. They will leave. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. My God. Our son, Mama, your, your mother will leave. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Jesus. You see, I once joined my mom dead. I cancel pressure death upon my mother. My God. You, these two ladies, your mother will not die. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want to tell the people in the UK. Um, no, first and foremost, um, um, MCR, can you put the Kumasi one? The Ashanti region people, your capital is Kumasi. I will be coming to Kumasi on the 27th of April. That is the last Saturday of April 2024. And you're going to see the poster right there. All right. I'm going to come to Kumasi. I'm going to come to Kumasi for our annual conference. And the venue is going to be at the tech place opposite the um, Kwame Nkrumah University. The, the place is called Mango Ase. Okay? Mango Ase means 
under the mango tree that's the name of the place so mango mango i say so those of you who are in kumasi and is environs and the people from zunyani i have been getting a lot of calls from you i believe from zunyani to kumasi is not far you can come because this is once a week because i've gotten calls from tamale um two girls are saying that they're going to be part of the whole program so um please can you put the flyer there for me so those of you in kumasi i will be there on the 27th we will have our conference we will start at 9 a.m exactly in the morning and we will close at 2 p.m all right so we're gonna have a whole conference for those for, for the, those of you who have been disturbing me with your dreams you have to come this is a whole conference and there will be question and answers there for you to also um you ask your questions then we will assist you okay we will assist you we will really assist you a lot okay so those of you am i seeing the poster please yes sir. okay i'm not seeing it here that's why because look as if i'm getting a late blo um, broadcast here so um and also the people in the uk i will be in manchester in the month of june that is june 8th i will be in manchester so on manchester you're gonna have your manchester and poster too so if you live around manchester or birmingham or lease in the uk you are also supposed to come for the um conference with with title it um prayer fest because we're gonna pray a lot even though we will do a bit of dreams but we're gonna it's, it's mainly dedicated for prayer okay so um those people um in manchester birmingham and Leeds, all the environs you you try to come the poster is there you pick up the number there and you call and you will be giving the direction okay now after the manchester we come to um tottenham that is north london in um seven sisters we're gonna have it in eastwood annabeth church that's fountain gate in their auditorium so that's where the people the tottenham people those in north london those in um enfield those those in um barking those in um dagenham all these places that are close to North London, please, we will expect you to be there. Okay, so the date is there for any inquiries. Try as much as possible to WhatsApp the numbers there. Okay, or even my number on it right now. Now, the next one is going to be in Edgeware. So if you are close to Edgeware, I'm going to be in Edgeware too. There are its surrounding cities there so if you're close to edgeware in the united kingdom i'm going to be there so manchester first tottenham second and edgeware is going to be third okay god richly bless all of you now my last announcement is those of you who have been asking especially those in the other african countries and other people you are saying that as you get a paypal account because you can't do um if you want to support the ministry you can use this one i have a paypal account now so we're gonna put a paypal account there and whichever way the lord touches you to support freely support okay from your heart we don't force people here but i'm doing it because most of you call papa you want to support how do we do it so i've had the paypal account is going to be on the platform um, on this on your screen so you can save it all right so you you have Albert Mensa then you have Sia Mensa um, it's 292 right so that's my PayPal account there so you we, we have a PayPal account now so please you can um, whatever thing you have to so it's albert mensa at siamensa 292 we will paste it there okay so you will know um so to save this one if you really want to support with um through the paypal account you just um do it 
all right god richly bless all of you for joining me today i really appreciate your time tomorrow same time 7 30 ghana time we are going to meet and i know you are going to be blessed we are bringing another set of dreams tomorrow god's willing i love all of you anybody that wants to contact me please send me a whatsapp number um, a whatsapp message first okay send me a whatsapp message and after sending the whatsapp message i will return your call all right or i will i will answer you or respond to your message all right god bless all of you and let's see you same time tomorrow in jesus name amen god bless you So don't you underestimate your dreams Dreams of power more than you know So don't you underestimate your dreams A being on day one die A dear girl mind One you not did them One sick as One coin in one my and poor one shepherd. Now, one now, woman, we need our home, I won't die. And no, they turn things around to your favor. Cause ignorance is never an excuse. Oh, your dream is your life. again and again to his people in dreams and visions of the night when deep sleep falls on me he's giving you the power to take charge and you I will die.